All right, so before we can talk into what can we save here, let's just make a small mini note into something called comments. Comments are just notes that you can leave on your code. Whatever you put on your code that is uncommented, the program is going to try to execute it. And sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you want to leave notes for yourself on the code. Sometimes you want to leave a note saying, I don't know how to do this. Sometimes you want, for example, you want a note saying, please help me. Please help me. I don't know. Or maybe you remember something and you say like, fuck, I cannot code today, but I want to say this. I want to say to do, uh, finish. Why am I retarded on my keyboard? Finish this, for example, right? As you can see, I am using these two things. These two things is to tell JavaScript, hey, whatever it's here, do not look at it, okay? Do not see it, do not touch it, do not execute it. If you do this, then I don't know, it's gonna be an error because two doesn't exist. This does not as well, finish doesn't exist. This and do exist as keyboards, but I don't know, it's not gonna work, of course, okay? So we are gonna work with comments. Now this is a single line comment, and if for example, you have many lines like this, okay? Uh, instead of doing this for every line, what you can do, it's something like this. You can just come here, and then at the end, epa, you just do this. All right, and that will be a multi-line comment. Not important for us uh, right now. It's not gonna change our lives, but I'm gonna use it a lot, okay? So what can we save here? Okay, and by the way, I didn't mention this on the previous video, but I will mention it now. By default, when you're creating a variable, use const. Do not use let until you need it. By default, always go for const. Let only when you need it. That's the one small trick. Okay, so what can we save? The first thing we can save on a variable, and by saving, I just means like putting it there, like what I did before, a equals three, b equals four, whatever, is a string, strong string. String is a string, I don't know, string. Oh my God. Strict, Jesus, <laughs> this, this is a string, okay? This, I have the save search off in DuckDuckGo, that's why, and I still get this, Jesus. That is also a string, actually, this is one string. So yeah, it, it was correct, the search is correct. So this is a string, okay? And what you can think of a string is like, everything is um, put together, okay? It's just, it has an ending and it has an end. And it's the same thing here. And usually a string will be a string of text. So as you can see, once I do this, it changes the color, okay? And I can do stuff like Nicholas. All right, and that is gonna save my text. If I remove these two, he is going to try to find Nicholas somewhere, but he's not gonna find it. And that will be a problem, okay? Because Nicholas is not defined. Look at what it says here. Nicholas is not defined. Because he's, he's thinking that Nicholas is something like what? Remember on the previous video, we did B equals A minus five. So he thinks that Nicholas is somewhere but he, ha he cannot find it, okay? Because Nicholas doesn't exist just yet. Now, if we do this, now Nicholas will exist and there should be no problem. Never forget to do this as well. So now if we console log, we can console log what? And as you can see here, what is, come on, Nicholas, okay? That's something kind of cool. So here we are saving text. What can you say for text? Whatever you want. If you wanna save an emoji, maybe we can save an emoji. I have no clue, let's try. Yep, we can save an emoji because it's just bloody text, okay? Whatever you want here. Do not be confused when you do something like this. This is a text. This is not a number. So you need to be careful with that.
Sometimes you want to put it as a text. Sometimes you want to put a number. It depends. Okay. So first things is a string. All right. That is the first thing. A string. Now I'm going to comment this bad boy over here. And let's do another one. And here let's do um, Boolean. What is a Boolean? A Boolean is true or false. That is basically it. Okay. So here let's do what? Yeah, what? Boolean is typed like this false. Or also, it can be true. It is all in lowercase. It is all without these things. Because it is not a text. All right. In binary word, everything is zeros and ones. Okay. True, it's one. False is zero. That's basically it. Okay. And you can save true and false. We are going to see how we can use all these motherfuckers in real applications later. For now, I just wanted to understand the theory. You don't, you really do not have to remember that word. Boolean, you don't have to remember that. I don't even know where it comes from. And also you don't even have to remember a string. You just remember text if you want and remember true and false if you want. But just remember true and false is not a text. Okay. Awesome. So now this is called Boolean. Beautiful. Now, I believe that we have time for one more. And this one more is going to be a number. A number is, is just, I, I don't know. Do you, you know what a number is? I don't have to tell you. Let's use my favorite number. All right. We don't have to tell you what number is. If you console log it, it's going to work just fine. Okay. Now, the other one is called a float. float okay and float is a number but it has a floating number basically like this okay it's floating it's a little bit stupid but it's not a 55 it's 55.1 and that is a floating number it has a floating whatever that means comma no dot dot yeah all right let's see float javascript Yeah, it's a dot. For one second, I thought it was a comma. All right. And that's it. That is the other way. Um, again, trust me, from experience, I can tell you that you don't need to remember this. I just want you to know in case I say string, I don't want you to be like, yo, what the fuck is a string? Is that that thing that women wear? No, we're talking about these things. Okay. So we have a strings. That is a text. We have a truth and false. We have numbers 666. We have floats that is 55 point whatever okay on the next video i want to show you how we can organize these data types okay because one thing is to have for example name here one variable named name um, is a man in a variable name gender true or false uh, age but how would you put it all together how would you um, tie them up together so that is what we're going to see on the next video. How do we organize data in JavaScript? How do we organize it in JavaScript? So thank you for watching. If you're still here, I hope you're enjoying and I will see you on the next one where we are going to organize these son of a bitches. See you there. Bye bye.